Hi, I'm Nina Perlov, and today I thought I would talk a little bit about what goes on in the mind of a musician while playing. Or maybe I should say what goes on in the mind of this musician while I'm playing. Now, I think it's really easy to romanticize what musicians think about and to think it's all just rainbows and unicorns and very colorful thoughts. Now, sometimes we might have a little bit of that, but actually what goes on in our minds, um, at least in my mind, is a lot of hard work, a lot of focus, a lot of concentration, and believe it or not, a lot of numbers. Numbers? What? The pulse is the most basic element that your audience can latch onto, and it forms a very sort of primal point of connection between you and the audience. Because whether they realize it or not, they're locked in to your pulse. Now, the audience is not sitting there thinking about numbers, but as the musician, I often am. So I thought I would do a demonstration and show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to take a look at the William Tell Overture, which is one of those very lovely and lyrical pieces in the orchestral repertoire that's a very famous flute excerpt. And it's easy to just get lost in the lyricism of it, but at the heart of it is always that pulse. And to keep that pulse, I like to subdivide, which means I take the main beats and I break them into smaller pieces within that beat. In the case of the William Tell, we are in 3-8 time, which means there are 3 eighth notes per measure. However, the pulse is subdivided into triplets. So each one of those eighth notes gets three parts of a triplet. So three triplets in a measure of 3-8, we're basically going to be breaking that measure down into a measure of nine pulses per measure. So I'm going to demonstrate what it's like by counting the way I count in my head while the music is playing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, for practice, I will even put a little bit of a pulse in my sound to subdivide the triplets on the long notes. So I know it may not seem very romantic or fluffy that what's going through my mind is, are basically the numbers 1 through 9 over and over and over again, but there actually is beauty in that pulse. There's beauty in numbers. I do believe in rubato, but I believe that the beauty of rubato is only achieved when the underlying expectation of the pulse is already very well established between you, the player, and the audience then the audience is carried with you when you stretch that pulse or rush it. Then they are part of that process because they have that expectation of the steady pulse already established in their subconscious. 